let's take a closer look on the problem. Usually, these puzzles are centered around a specific topic, which prompts to the solution. In this case, a hint at the equation itself, specifically in these subscript tense. So, what do they mean? These indexes refer to the used numeral system, in that case, decimal. Those who are familiar with the general principles behind different numeral systems can switch to the solution of the problem at the timeline, whereas I will shortly introduce a few fundamental concepts. A numeral system is a writing system for expressing numbers. The building blocks of a numeral system are the certain symbols, which in our case are known Arabic numbers. But remember that in other systems, different symbols are used. By using Arabic numbers as discussed building blocks, we can come up with the different ways to perform operations on these numbers, therefore ending up with the different numeral systems. The one uh, used in everyday life is a decimal numeral system, referring to the fact that the number of unique symbols used to represent numbers is 10. However, the Arabic numbers can be used as a basis for other numeral systems, for instance binary, where two unique symbols are used, 0 and 1. These are so-called positional numeral systems, referring to the fact that information re represented by a symbol and its position. Let's take a short look on the example. We have a number 100. Here we have at the first position numeral 0, and the second position numeral 0, and at the third position numeral 1. These positions are commonly known as units, tens, and hundreds. How can you transfer the numbers from some random based numeral system to decimal. For this, one has to take numeral and multiply it with a base in the power of the position. If we apply this formula for decimal decimal conversion, not surprisingly, we have 100. However, for binary system with the basis 2, we conclude that 100 in binary represents 4 in decimal. The same rule applies for the other bases, for instance, ternary. If you wish, you can stop the video here and use the discussed principle to calculate some examples on your own to get the better feeling of the procedure. Now uh, let's come back to the original problem. As we can see, 8 are taken in decimal numeral system. However, the results of the multiplication is represented in the non-decimal system. Now we have to find the basis of this unknown system. In order to do this, we can write uh, the general equation converting 54 from the unknown system to decimal. Because we are provided with the results in the decimal system, we can solve this linear equation and find that the basis of this unknown system is 12. Therefore, 84 in this 12-based numeral system is equal to 100 in decimal numeral system. Of course, 100 is one of the possible answers to this problem, because once you know the basis of this initially unknown numeral system, you can convert 84 to any other numeral system, not necessarily decimal. I think this puzzle was a nice illustration to guide you through the main principles behind numeral systems. This problem was adapted uh, from the book Entertaining Algebra by Russian mathematician Yakov Perelman. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up, subscribe to the channel, ring a bell not to miss the new videos, and of course, do not hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments. In case you have an interesting problem that can be presented, then write it in the comment section and we will discuss it. I hope to see you soon.